Hello everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain the 5x2 and 5x3 spool valve working. And this 5x2 and 5x3 spool valve is a direction control valve which is used to control the direction of the fluid in the system. Already in the previous sessions, I have discussed the working of the 3x2 and 4x2. 4x3 spool valve direction control valves I have explained. There I told you that one how the direction of the fluid will to be controlled by using the spool. The spool is the valve element which will be moved inside the valve body to make the connections of the different ports. And first I will take the working of the 5x2 spool valve and later I will take the 5x3 spool valve. This is the 5x2 spool hole solenoid actuated. 5x2 means 5 means ports, 2 means number of positions. Here in this wall, there are 5 ports are there 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. 5 ports are there and 2 positions. One is left position, another one is the right position. There are 2 positions are there. This is the wall body. And this is the actuating part, the component, that is the solenoid uh, part, this one. And this valve is used to control the double acting cylinder. Okay, this is the double acting cylinder whose movement will be controlled by using the this 5 by 2 spool valve. First, we will take the position 1, that is the left side. Presently, it is in the left side. The spool will be in the left side okay here it will be there in the left side and that is position one we are going to take at this position one is connecting to four and two is connecting to three one is usually pump pump is connecting to the actuator and back line is connecting to the tank line. and similarly the position two the position two is the right position and by using this actuation motion actuation method if you move the this hall towards the right side then during that time wall will be connecting one will be connecting to this two one will be connecting to this this hall will meet the hall will land whatever the inside part is there that comes to this portion then one will be this path will be opens one will be connected to this and four is connecting to the five the four is connecting to the five and this three will be remains closed during the right portion. And here the, the spring is there which will makes the uh, spool at the center portion or a neutral portion when it is not in operation. There are any methods we are going to use for the it's bringing it to the neutral portion. This working we can explain with respect to the its symbol also. This is the symbol of the 5 by 2 spool hull and which is solenoid actuated and manually mechanically brought to a center portion. And this in the position 1, this is the left part, okay, which is the 5 ports are there, one position, okay, the position 1, there is a left side. In this left side, 1 is connecting to 4 and 2 is connecting to 3. 5 remains closed. Then position 2 that is the right side at this side the another position. Here the 1 is connecting to 2 and 4 is connecting to 5. Okay, Here the 1 pump is connecting to the actuator and back line will be connected to a pump. And in this position the pump will be connecting to a 4 and back line is connecting to the 3. And the solenoid actuation this is the symbol used for the solenoid actuation this symbol whatever is there it is a solenoid actuation okay there are all the actuation methods the symbols are represented in the hydraulic circuit system that i am going to explain in the next session the what are the different actuation uh, methods are there and the actuation symbols are there next i will move to the 5 by 3 spool valve that is also solenoid actuated this already we know that 5 means Ports, there are five ports once again. One, two, 
3, 4 and 5. The ports are there. The paths to flow of the fluid. And 3 means it is a position. Here, the apart from the two positions, one is left position, another one is the right position, there is a center position is also considered. The center position is also, the one position is considered. That is the third position. That's why it is a 5 by 3 spool valve or 5 by 3 direction control valve. This can be explained the position 1. That is the left side we can take. Already it is in the left side. There 1 is connecting to 4. That is the pump is connecting to the actuator and back line will be connected to a pump. The one is connected to four and back line two to three, it will be connected. There is a left side. The position two is the right side. And the spool moves to the right side, then one will be connecting to a two. Okay, this wall uh, land on the spool will be moving to this position and there it will be makes a path from the one to two. At the same time, it will be connecting to a five. Four to five back line will be connecting to a Go to line 5 which will goes to the tank and at that position 4 to 5 this 3 will be remains closed 3 will be remains closed the third position which is the neutral position which is neutral position at that position okay here 4 to 5 again it will be same it is connected 4 to 5 the 4 to 5 the same way it will be connected at the center line. This valve element is moving that this side. The 4 will be directly connecting to 5. And this 2 will be connecting to a 3. How it is there? This one. This valve, whatever is there, it will come into this position. And there, therefore, it is making a path for the 2 to 3 connection. And at that point, the 1 is remains closed. 1 will be remains closed at the center position. Okay, is it here the how the flow will be taking place in the all the three positions? Okay, we have considered and this also we can explain with respect to a symbol. Here this is a pi by three spool hull and this all is not activated. These are the three positions. This is the one position, okay, the second position, and this is the third position. Okay, this is only the three positions are there. And first we are going to take as the left. And second, we are going to take as the right. And third, we are going to take this center. The center, we are going to take as the third. And second, we are going to take up the right position. Here, the five ports are there. And the three positions. Position one, okay, left position. One to four, it is connected. And two to three, it will be connected. And five remains closed. And position two, that is the right position. And there 1 to 2 it will be connected and 4 to 5. 1 to 2 and 4 to 5 it will be connected. And there the 3 will be remains closed. And position 3 that is the center position. The 4 to 5 is connected. 2 to 3 is connected. 4 to 5 and 2 to 3 will be connected. 1 is remains closed. And this movement of the spool is provided by again the solenoid actuation method okay that's all what is meant by solenoid actuation i will explain in the next session and the, here there is a spring is shown okay whenever it is not in work what is in uh, operation okay it will comes to the neutral position by the spring this is the working of the 5 by 3 direction control hall okay till now i have explained the, all the types of the direction control halls and the actuation method i am going to explain in the for the session thanks for watching if you like share subscribe and comment